Howdy y'all. In today's episode, we're gonna get some parts in this top cover. For the main clutch, we got a new pin. And we just machined this one out out of some stock that we had here. This one had some pretty bad grooves in it. So stay tuned. going to take an exacto knife and trim this excess of gasket material out from all the way around here. Well, we gained. Test fit in our clutch shaft here. It's a little bit tight, so we got to kind of ream out those bushings a little bit. And I'm going to install this plug up here. Got a new washer. What are you doing, cleaner? I'm cleaning up this keyway. This half moon key for our master clutch pin which we got a beautiful fit now nice tight bushings in it and a nice uh, new pin let's see it we'll have uh, that one's good I got to clean up this other one here now I'm getting the steering clutches ready to install Okay, I'm gonna install the first steering clutch, and these were a bear to take apart because you really don't have enough room to work in here with. And there's a bolt in here that has to go through here in a castle nut on the other side. And yeah. Remember that game of operation we used to play when we were kids? It's kind of like that. Only my dexterity is worse than when I was a kid. I got it. That's kind of a pain. Did it go? Yeah. Oh yeah, cool. All right, let me pull it over. Yeah, now you want me to put the nut the on? Start the nut, and then there's a, a cotter key there too. Can you yeah. get your wire out of there? Let's get this nut on. Yeah, we don't want to lose it. That's a pain. Yeah, it is. This is even a pain getting the... I don't know how you're going to hold the one side and tighten the other. Oh, we'll get it. There it goes. Now let me get my wire out because you won't lose it now. Right there's the end of that castle nut. And I'll show you why this is such a pain. There's a bolt that goes through there. There's barely enough room to push that bolt in through there and get the steering clutch down in there. It, it takes quite an act of skill to get it to work. So now we got to tighten that up. <laughs> it's. They could have left a little bigger opening, you think? You would think. You know, it doesn't have to be real tight. No, as long as we can get that cotter key through there. <laughs> I can't come over anymore. And you know the cotter key's going to be sideways where we can't see it. I think, I think just get it where we can key it and leave it be. That's what I'm joking about. Can you come up? No, that's yeah. it. Oh, that's all I need. Oh, you need to turn your back your castle nut off here. Hang just on. a little bit. Let me get it. Here, I'll get it. I see. Go that way. There, hold it. Now it should go. There it goes. Okay. As if this prog process wasn't tedious enough, you have to put a... Uh, cotter key in there through that castle nut. It was kind of a struggle, but we got them on. Those bolts are kind of a pain to get through there. I'm going to put the bolts in here and secure them to the top cover. A few of these bolts were very severely rusted, so we're replacing about four of them. I'm going to use, as always, a little bit of blue Loctite and new lock washers.
Got them snugged up. I'm gonna torque everything to 35. I've been chomping at the bit to hook these up. I'm just gonna screw these in hand tight and see if these clutches work. I got the clutch levers at least snugged up hand tight and flush. Let's see what happens here. Appear to be working. How's it feel? Feels springy. Well, I can say this. It looks like they work a lot better than when we got this tractor. <laughs> Quite a bit, yeah. Substantially. Now I just need to adjust them. Yeah. I gotta trim this out in here. Not a whole lot, though. No. That'll be good. Dad's test fit in his gasket for the steering clutch cover. And I'm gonna work on the gear shifter here. I've already made the gaskets. I'm gonna go gasket. Part. Gasket. I'm going to flip these. They're the exact same part, the top and the bottom, and it's not going to matter. There's a little bit more wear on the old one for the bottom, so I'll just flip them around. Put that on top of the gasket I just put in, and I'm going to take a little bit, never get a little bit. I always try for a little bit, never get a little bit of anti-seize, and just put it right there on that surface where the gear shifter is going to set another gasket actually let's put the gear shifter in first gear shifter right there now another gasket Take the knob off, and I got new knobs for this machine. These are just on here because they're protecting the threads, and we can get a little paint and over overspray on them, and it doesn't matter. There we go. And yes, blue Loctite. And I'm going to torque all these to 35 just like I did on the others. We just had a moment of sheer panic and terror because I couldn't get this shifter to shift. The problem is we just needed to release the, uh, I don't know what this is, for the main clutch so that it knows that you're out of gear. Well, it holds the, so that we, if when you're moving in a gear and the master clutch is engaged, you can't shift gears and that's what it's for yeah so if I pull this now you won't be able to shift it go ahead see now yeah. if I let you go there you go yeah so that's what it's for yeah. it's it's not for terrifying people rebuilding d4s okay. it's so that you can't shift you have to uh, disengage the master clutch to shift yeah okay that gave us a little bit of a scare. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. We were in full panic mode for about two minutes. Dad's got these gaskets made for the hand clutch covers. And I've got the one back here made already. I'm going to put this one on. And this, the flat part goes to the front. There. one there now we need to make our other cover gasket for this we have, a, we have a friend dad especially has a friend that's a master machinist and he did an awesome job milling out a lot of these parts like this brand new pin yeah we got a new pin in there cut the keyways on a, on his mill uh, master machinist whatever we can't do 
farmer on our lathe, he can definitely do better. Yes. That'll be nice and tight. It's a nice tight fit. New bushings, new pin. It's going to rock and roll. It was so worn that now it's hitting in an entirely new place where it's going to wear oh, yeah. up here. You can see where it wore from before it was hitting the stop here. Yeah. And now it's... We're good. It's no slopping now. No. I got this uh, steering clutch dust cover on here. Bolts are in. I'm going to put this other one on here. Just the same. And six bolts, six brand new lock washers, some Loctite. And I'm going to torque these to 35. Dad's working on the frictionless surface for the shifter knob. I think it needs to trim right here a little bit. Yeah. But this top will sit on there. And under spring pressure, that should help seal it, but also give it a frictionless surface. And this is a piece of one of those cutting boards that I was talking about that we bought. What do you think? I'm going to make one more and trim this. And I don't think we need to go more than too thick. I really don't. There's no way that'll go down on there and hit. Okay. Got those on. Got these bolts in. They're all torqued down. This is a gasket that we made. And that'll go on here next. And should slip right there between. Right there. And that'll hold it right there in there. That lip, I don't know if you can see it on that other one, I'll keep it from shifting and moving both ways. Uh, once that gets on there, I'm going to put the top cover on. And that will be spring pressure. And that spring pressure will be from this. And that will go on there. And that will be compressed to where a cotter key goes through and holds this cap down. Dad's making gaskets to go under these covers where the brake compartment service is. And those will go right here. And I'm working on the steering clutches. Our cutting board idea didn't work. As soon as I installed it, the super glue didn't hold and it just pretty much peeled it apart. I did find some weather strip. I'm just going to stick in here for now and put them on. And we're going to kind of keep this in the back of our mind to look for something that will work better in here. We're adjusting the steering clutch linkage. And just like the brakes, they are supposed to have about three to four inches of free play. Just three. About three. So let's see what we got. That's pretty good right there. It's moving about three inches of free play. Okay. So now that I've got that established, we tighten down this jam nut right there. And hold that while we tighten it down. Let's check the other side. See what you got. Stop, let me get set. Okay. Let me get a different angle here. Let go. Okay. Yeah, you're a little long. You need to tighten it up a little bit. So tighten it up. Back up the adjusting screw. A little bit more. And these are a 9 sixteenths. Just like the brakes. Okay. That's probably pretty good. I guess that's where you take the measure from the tip of the lever. Well, that's where we're going to do it. Yeah. Okay. These are adjusted. I got the adjuster adjusted. Let me just tighten down the lock washer, lock nut, not washer. So that's inch and a quarter, and the end of that is a nine sixteenths. Let me get the box end on there. All right. There. 
There we go. A little Easter egg. On top of this gasket back here under the cover underneath the seat. That cover's on. Bolts are in. They're torqued to, you guessed it, 35. Also put these inspection port covers for the brakes. Again, 35 torque. Next, we're going to put the shifter cover on. Right there. And we've kind of made a neoprene gasket here that'll mush with this and kind of seal that off, but also allow it to slide when we shift. Uh, no, you're, oh, it, okay. Yeah, it's going. There you be. Okay. We'll fix these later. Yeah. Well, we might do something different underneath here. See how, put your handle on, see how it works. It'll work. I don't have it, this flange bolted down yet either, so. Oh. They're all in and started. I'll get them snugged up with a 9 16 inch open end wrench. Making one more gasket for that cover. And I put a little thread sealer in here. I'm going to go ahead and stick this on. It's well protected back here where it's going. I'll go get a wrench and snug it up. What's doing now, cleaner? Some touch up bolts. In the future, we're going to do these bolts a little bit different. And how's that? We're going to paint them in cardboard and get primer on them and a couple coats, just like we do everything else. And then when we put them in, if we mar them up, then we'll touch up and the color will come through better. And we've got all these access covers on. There's gaskets underneath. We didn't do cork on most of these. We just did the paper. But those are all on there. And we'll just spray a little dusting of paint on all the bolts. I've cleaned them all. I've wire brushed them all. And later on, after that cures, the plan is to spray the whole thing over one more coat. And that should give it a good consistent look and kind of seal everything up nicely. This is just one of those copper... I know, cleaning pads for in the kitchen. I've cut a little chunk out I'm going to stuff in here. These had a, a bronze mesh, but for now this will do. Copper might corrode a little more. It'll help keep the dirt out for now. And the one last thing I want to do today is put the dust guards on outside here. To be honest with you, I don't think they were doing anything. I've got new lock washers and new cat nuts that I'm going to put on here as well, just to be on the safe side. For anybody that wants to know, these are a fine thread. For anybody that's curious, yes, we have a plan to push the sprockets on here. We wanted to get done with our painting and everything while it was up here on the lift. As far as I could tell, these dust shields really didn't do anything more than, I don't know, store dirt. And mud in between here that's about all I could figure frankly these will most likely never be seen again and they're a 916 and I'll torque them to 35 got those on there put a little bit of uh, paint on there just for good measure just for a first coat real light so that when we spray everything down it'll stick better so there it is 4g back of it's pretty much all covered up we have the belt pulley to do, which I'm in the middle of working on. I've had to order some parts, so it's on hold. Once we get that in there, we can put oil in the transmission and fill that compartment up. And we're going to move 4G after we get our second coat of paint on it. Got some sprockets to press on here. As always, I do want to thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Wonder if Lefty feels a little lonely at night, not getting tucked in with the fitted sheet.